channel hi I'm a plane I'm one of the beauty influencer I do a lot of makeup videos um, product reviews and all that jazz which comes with the beauty world <laughs> uh, so in today's video I am going to show you guys a zoom meeting or office meeting ready look using a um, lot of pro new products uh, from um, different brands and from mainly from look fantastic I uh, just want to mention this the first uh, this video is sponsored by look fantastic so there will be a lot of products which I'll be showing on camera with to you guys which are sponsored by uh, look fantastic uh, and their great team um, I will also write down everything in the description box as well uh, every product I will be using from um, specifically from the fantastic website uh, you will be able to get a 20% off on these products if you shop through them so again as I said all the information will be mentioned in the description box below so thank you so much for look fantastic to sponsoring this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so every time I'm posting a video you will get a notification so once again thank you so much guys for watching this video and let's just not waste any more time and get into this tutorial love you guys take care bye Hey guys so as mentioned in the intro we're going to begin with this look so this is going to be a nice camera ready zoom office meeting look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with my screen prep and the first thing i'm going to use is my glow recipe watermelon uh, fine mist this is one of my favorite favorite facial mist i've been using it for a since it, it came out, it's one of my favorites for many reasons to apply an eye cream. And for this one, I'm actually going to use my Clinique Moisture Surge Eye 96 um, Hydro Filler Concentrate. I'm actually going to use the concentrate for many reasons. Um, first would be my under eye area is very, very dry right now. So, and I can do with all the hydration. Um, I can get and the other thing is this particular cream works really well as a, um, you can say a primer for your under eye area so specifically for your under eye area um, late cream this is uh, what is this this is the multifunction nourishing moisturizer and it can be used as a makeup base and a primer as well this is um, sponsored by look fantastic as you can see this is a very well known cream in makeup world it's and it is a very good moisturizer uh, so do check this out I'm gonna put everything in the um, uh, while I'm showing you all the products which are definitely from look fantastic I'm gonna write down all of them underneath on the screen so you can see exactly what product it is so this is the cream I'm going to use and I'm gonna just apply I haven't even opened it Ooh. I'm gonna take some on my um, finger just apply it and oop, a little bit too much came out you definitely don't need that much it's just <laughs> I have too much came out <laughs> okay this video is already to a good start hmm I used to use this one a um, couple of years ago actually I used to this one all the time and I don't know why I stopped because it is a very good cream. I'm going to use my El Maquillage Smoothing Blur Primer. This is the one I've been using it. Um, or it says, you can say it's Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. This is the one I've been using it for. In, I actually used it in past few videos. The only reason I don't use this all the time because the pump doesn't work and it's so, so annoying because every time I want to use this, I have to just screw everything unscrew everything and then basically to get the product out but it is a very good primer though 
but it's very silicone-y, like when you put it, even the smell, it just reminds me of, like, you know when your uh, makeup goes off or something, I don't know, it's very silicone-y smell, and even when you're applying it, it's texture is very light and very, like, uh, silky and smooth, you will feel like it. You're rubbing like your face in a marshmallow or something. Foundation, I'm going to try the samples I received for Beauty Blender. Bounce with um, foundation. I have four different shades. 2.10, which is, um, I think 2.10 is more for a light skin. Then 3.25, 3.60 and then 4.30. 4.30 is definitely going to be very dark for me because it's like more of a coffee shade. Uh, I think I'm going to be in between 3.25 and 3.60. So I already kind of swatched it earlier just to see. But uh, I felt like it's the 3.60. This is 3.60. guys. So it's a little bit too yellow for me. See, it's a little bit too yellow, but I'm going to try to mix this with my 3.25 and see how the things goes. I think it will be, um, by mixing those two shades might be perfect because 3.25 on its own, so this is 3.25, it's going to be a little light for me. So this might feel like it. I'm putting a lot of foundation, but it's a very, very, very thin streaks. It's not too much. Start blending this out. I used this sponge in my last video too, and I absolutely loved it. It's really, really good sponge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just buy this NARS. Uh, this one is Soft Matte Complete Concealer, Anti Crease Concealer as well. And this one is in shade Ginger. Um, I was testing these shades earlier and I noticed this one is slightly darker than what I would have personally liked for as a brightening concealer. But this is a very good one for covering your dark circles. So I'm actually going to apply this in the corner of my eye and also to cover my dark circle. Actually push it in your skin. That's actually going to cover your dark circles much more and give you more like full coverage effect than dragging the product. Actually going to use the second sponge from Colourpop. And this one is a detail one uh, because I wanted to do my corner of my under eye area. My Milani Conceal and Correct Long Wear Concealer and this is in shade number 120 which is a light manila. And I'm going to apply this just on the point where I want to be a little bit more brightened. I was actually thinking about doing a cream contour, but I want to keep this look not too complicated because when you're getting ready for the office or even for a Zoom meeting, you don't have that much time. You just want to quickly get it done uh, and over with. So I use this one today. We are not going to use any cream contour. I'm gonna wait for it to just dry down for like a couple of seconds, I will say 20 seconds or so, before I start blending this out. Start blending this, and I'm only going to blend this where I actually want to be brightened. The whole idea for you to apply the product when you're applying it is when you blend it, don't drag the product. Keep it where you applied it because that's the shape you are going for. 
if you want your face is too narrow and you want to make it wide then you take your concealer all the way up here makes your face look wide if your face is too round and you want to make it look slim and long then keep it right just underneath your brow that where your brow ends that's where your concealer should end okay. camera is i just finished my brows and did like an eye base i haven't done anything else yet because there are a lot of new products i want to show you guys I'm to use from look fantastic or the second thing is from this nude sticks matte face lip and eye stick and this one is in shade called sun kissed it's a nude stick and the shade is called sun kissed i hope you guys can see properly this one is matte and this is how it comes I love their packaging. It's so chic and so cool. All the uh, information regarding the product is in this piece of paper. They even have instruction how you should use it, in what form you can use it, and all that stuff. So I'm going to use this one. Um, this is a shade a little bit more on of a, if you see, more of like a coral brown kind of tone. I'm going to use this on my cheeks. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to give me a really nice bronzy kind of look. Um, so the one side of the product is the actual cream, pro uh, cream or the actual product. And the other side is the brush. I am going to use this brush first because I want to see how it's going to blend especially on top of this foundation so this one is from look fantastic again all the products i'm using from look fantastic you will be able to uh, get 20 percent discount on each product or 20 percent discount uh, if you use my link all the information will be mentioned in the description box below so do read it properly to get your 20% discount the brush um, even this brush is super duper good I really really like it because can you see how nicely it blended everything so and I feel like it kind of kind of gave me a really nice bronzy look too i really want to try the other one the other one is shade naughty and spicy i have a feeling this one is more um what is this one i think this one is more pinkishy tone and this one is more um brown more like coal more like warm tone really like this oh wow can you see beautiful so so nice i don't know on my screen it's looking really really nice i hope it's looking good on your screen too so oh really like this one okay i might actually use this one on my eyes too um but I'm going to see. I do also have these two brushes from Look Fantastic. The Scott Barnes, um, who is Jennifer Lopez makeup artist. It's his uh, makeup brushes range. And believe me, they are not cheap. They are very good quality. As very, it, it, their, his brushes has so much hype. And the reason why it has a hype, because now I have two in my hand thank you to look fantastic um for sending these uh, because the shape of the brush and the um bristles of the brush they are so beautiful like so perfectly shaped and angled so this one is number 63 and if you can see it's literally a angled brush so when you're doing your outer part of your eye and you're doing your crease you cannot go wrong it's gonna make your job so much easier to get that perfection that in like proper deep crease without going overboard or without going all over your eye 
and this one is number 61 it's more of like a fan shape brush again these both are from look fantastic and this one would be really good to smooth out the edges and to just really get that diffused look i'm going to use these two um, even though i'm going to use the cream product on my eyes too but i'm going to use this so this is i'm quite happy with this i think i'm going to make a little bit more intense just on the inner part of my um, cheeks it's only because i love a lot of lot of blush and i really like to i really want my cheeks to look super nice and plumpy that's why i'm applying the more product right here but if you want your face to look more skinny or more slim then apply it on the hot points of your face so but i want my face to look very nice and plumpy okay i'm also going to go over with my foundation sponge this is a very good tip if you go overboard uh, with product and you feel like it you need to calm it down just use your foundation brush or sponge or whatever else you are using to just calm things down so i'm quite happy with this okay the next step i'm going to do is i think i'm going to set my face first because any other cream products i'm going to use on my face not really okay i'm going to set my face first because my under eye area seems to be creasing a little bit so before things get too bad, do it. And I'm going to use just my product, which is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Absolutely love, 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 love this product. It's so lightweight. Um, it's a really good product to set your under eye area, to set your full face. The sun kissed one but just for the sake of it I want to show you guys the other one as well this is the second one and this one is in shade called no tea and spicy I'm going to show you guys the exact shade so this shade is yeah this one is more cool tone and it's more like pinkishy warm so but I want to keep my makeup very uh, nude and very like warm tones that's why i'm going to compare to this one so i'm going to show you guys both so you can see so this one is the one i'm using right now and this is the other one so these are the two shades this one is looking more yellow on the top because of the foundation but yeah it's much more warm tone so i think i'm gonna go with the uh warm one but let's just use my finger I'm going to apply the product right on my eyelid, all over, and just literally going to bring this in. Okay, so can you see? Oh, it came a little bit on me. Same thing, I'm going to do on the other side. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to apply the product because I just want to get the base down how I want my eye look to be because I do want to use an eyeliner for this look. So, yeah. Okay, the other thing, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Scott Barnes brush in number 63 and I'm going to just start blending this even though this is an angled brush because it's going to work really really well because it's going to give you a really nice diffuse look without going too close to your brow bone because the brush is doing all the job for you and it's controlling all the motion and it's controlling where the product is going to so before I go move on to the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do some bronzing to give my face a little bit of a warmth. And I'm going to try this um, 
bronzer from NARS and I haven't this is my first time trying the NARS bronzer even though again it has so much hype and everything oh there was I with all these products <laughs> um, I'm going to use uh, NARS Laguna mm, Laguna what is it bronzing powder face oh it's actually not too bad I oh, quite like this really nice I really really like it Inglot gel liner you all know by now how cool and good the Inglot gel liners are this one is in number 77 which is pretty intense black I'll say um, and I'm just going to create a very small wing nothing too intense or anything I'm just gonna literally take this um, and I'm going to just create a little wing I have my wings on I just didn't want it something too bold or intense that's why I kept it very small very like simple very thin um, this is kind as I said this particular step is very much a personal choice so if you like really really intense uh, wing go for it but I wanted to keep it I wanted to give my eyes a little bit of like Mm, sultry kind of look too without going overboard so this is my way of doing that <laughs> um, I'm just going to curl my lashes best and best I'm actually going to leave my lower la lash line naked usually I don't do that but I am digging the whole eye look right now and I Still gives me a really nice dramatic look. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bit of a um, essence nude eye pencil in my waterline, so it won't look too naked. So see, kind of opens up your eyes. Oh. I thought it, when I ordered it, I thought it's going to be a little more lighter. I'm not complaining though. Like it, like it. Hmm. Really like this. When I started applying it, I thought it's going to be a little dark, but it is a little dark for my liking for nude, especially. But I'm really liking this Bora Plumping Lip Gloss and this is in shade Outrageous, which is O2. Okay. I'm only going to apply this right in the center of my lips. Mm. <laughs> and I'm also going to even though I said I'm not going to but I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter and this is from Charlotte Tilbury film star and uh, film star bronze and glow face sculpt and highlight palette and this one is in shade fair medium um, not applying it everywhere but I'm just going to do a little bit on my nose and ever so slightly on the bridge of my nose
I finish Zoom makeup, Zoom meeting or office meeting ready makeup. And the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my face with using Dominic Cosmetic setting spray. Just drench my face with this stuff. And I'm just gonna give a, my face a little <laughs> tone. So we are done. So this is my um, version of a Zoom meeting or office meeting uh, ready look and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding any products, please do let me know in the comment section below and once again thank you so much for look fantastic to sponsoring this video and all the products which are mentioned from look fantastic will be mentioned in the description box below and how you can get a 20 percent discount on all the products i used today in this video from look fantastic and um uh, how you can go and find them all the information will be mentioned in the description box below so once again thank you so much for watching love you all take care bye